Welcome. In front of me is a Fairphone 3 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now obviously you can see that the phone right here is locked and I could unlock it, well, I guess only using the uh, previously used Google account but usually there's also a pattern or pin or password. Now I don't recall this being here but anyway, it is locked. I can also see the little lock icon right there. So to begin the bypass we're going to back out to the Wi-Fi connection page right here. And from there you want to tap on uh, seal Wi-Fi networks and then add new network and this will give you this microphone icon. Now if I progress any further I will stress uh, you don't want to allow this, you want to deny it. So it asks for access, deny. Ask, tap on it again, asks for access, deny, don't ask again, and tap on it again. And here you will get this pop-up, select allow. This will take you to, well, apps and notifications basically. So from here we're gonna go into permissions and from there we're going to tap on the search icon and search for settings. So let's see. So it's right at the bottom, as you can see, this one right here. So you want to make sure that you click on the correct one. And there's a couple of ones with the settings word in it, but you're looking for the, just the application itself. So it's this one. I click on it and then select open. So once you open that application, uh, you're going to go into accessibility, which is at the bottom. From here, you're going to find is it accessibility mini and simply enable it and allow got it go back and once you have enabled the accessibility mini we now want to go to apps and notifications so it's somewhere at the top right here you want to then select all or app info i believe tap on the three dots and then show system and number one, we're looking for Android setup, which should be somewhere at the top. Let's, well, there's two of them. So let's start with the first one. Disable, disable app, force stop. Okay, go back to the second one and let's select force stop. Okay, so we have now disabled the two Android setups. Let's see if we need to disable anything else. So to also find Google Play services. Google Play service, there we go. So once you find those, again, select disable, disable up, and of course stop, and okay. So we have disabled the two different setups and the Play services. So from here we can progress further, uh, which is by counterproductively going back, or counterintuitively in this case. So I'm gonna back out, okay. and I'll just go through the setup. Okay, so this is the screen that we're looking for. Once you progress uh, to the setup, it looks like just one field, it gets stuck on this screen right over here. It's, it is the page where basically checks for, well, if the device is locked or not by connecting with Google. But because we have disabled Google Play services, it can't do that. So uh, what you want to do now is click on the accessibility menu, assistant, and this will show up this, let's try that again, this, come on. This settings icon, uh, it's going to be visible only for a brief moment. Uh, it is something that you most likely need to retry several times. So let's go about it. As you can see, it doesn't even show up the icon always. So when I click on the settings and then you'll want to select enable. It will basically, once you click on the settings, it takes you to the apps and notifications of Google Play services where you had those three buttons where we disabled and first stop. And this time around, you want to click on enable. There we go. So as you can see, that that's how it goes. Now, if you don't do it quick enough, uh, this page also will close. Uh, once you enable it, it will stay open. So anyway, once you have enabled it, let's go back 
close this. And as you can see, it just kind of went further, completely skipping uh, the verification step. So we can now finish up the setup of the device. Now, at this point, I recommend you to go through it as quick as you can without actually setting up anything on the device because it doesn't really matter what you set up. Just close this. There we go. So from here on the home screen, you wanna pull up, go to the settings, scroll down, Go to System, Advanced, Reset Options, and then select Erase All Data Factory Reset. Tap on that again. This will begin the, oh, now it will begin the factory reset of the device. Uh, what this will also do, is, apart from resetting the device, is remove all the protections that the device used to have. So the Google account that was blocking us before from finishing up the setup, gone. Uh, any pin patterns, passwords, gone. So once the process is finished, you can set up your device however you like. It will be virtually fully unlocked. So I'm just gonna let this run and come back once it's finished. But overall, the process is basically complete now. So as you can see, the factory reset has finished and you can set up your device however you like. It is fully unlocked so you can add your Wi-Fi, Google accounts and all that stuff, whatever you want. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.